Auntie Linda's moving back to New Zealand and she wants me to come with her. Can I move in with you instead? What did the agency say? It's a definite no if Nicolette's still in the house. Chloe, what about your place again? If it means staying close to the boys, maybe it is a good idea. And I think I like her. Are you sure you're not confusing liking her with just, like, her being supportive? I don't know. Maybe. I feel it more every time I'm with her. Maybe I should just tell her. No. Look, I, I don't know about that, Chloe, because if you do and then it starts a rift between you guys, it's... Yeah. I mean, things were pretty awkward when she came clean about being in love with me. You need to ride this out, okay? If you spill your guts now, you'll regret it. The rest can stay in boxes. That's it. I'm officially unpacked. Welcome to number 24, again. I've kept it really minimal this time so that it's easy to pack up again when Mum gets back. Thanks. What? You're pregnant. The world should be revolving around you and instead you're just... Happy doing what makes other people happy. Oh, that's me, Saint Nicolette. It's true. That chocolate we pigged out on, the excess hotel stuff from Lassiter's? Yes. I salivate like Pavlov's dog every time I think about it. I'll start salivating then. That's a different brand. No, oh, it's a rebrand. Same chocolate, same company but now in recyclable wrapping, so it's ethical and delicious. You knew exactly what I needed back then. You needed space and to escape for a little while. Kind of like what you need now. So for the short term that I'm living here, it's all about the fun and the trashy TV and the chocolates. Anything changed since our little chat? I won't let it get complicated. It already is. I thought, I, I really want to name the baby Faye. Like, obviously, if it's a girl. <laughs> well? Well, we can definitely throw it in the mix. No, you know, I, I think it's better than just throwing it in the mix. I reckon it's perfect. I'm going to call Mark. I, I heard that Dippy's looking to hire a manager for Harold. I was thinking you make you go for it. I mean, I don't have that much managerial experience, as in I have none. I could help with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. So, if the baby's a girl, we're going to call her Faye, in honour of Mum. Oh, I thought um, you and David were still going to discuss it. No, no, it's pretty much a done deal. OK, uh, well, it's great you want to take on more responsibility. Uh, but, Chloe, you've already got a job. How will you fit all of this in? I've cleared it with Therese and I wouldn't be too hands-on. More like a management mentor. That sounds good then. <laughs> um, hey, have you heard back from Dippy yet? No, but I've actually got a really good feeling about it. Thank you again for your help. Please, you smashed that interview out of the park. Wait, what are you doing? What? I mean, one minute you're telling me that you're confused about your feelings for Nick. Next, you're, you're making pregnancy craving jokes and now you're going into business together. I'm not going into business with her. Well, you know what I mean. So, Aaron, about the baby naming thing. Yes, actually, I think I know exactly what you're about to say. Well, even if the baby's a boy, there's still no reason why we can't name it Faye. I think it's perfect. You know, I think it's time we had a break. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to call Mark. About what? Um, I need to tell him and Ty about the baby name news. They didn't answer earlier. We should video call Mark. His jaw is going to hit the floor. Maybe you should hold off on it for now. Hold off? Why? They're going to love it. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Mark is going to hate the idea because we all hate it. Because it's a stupid, insensitive thing to do. Clyde, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Why am I such a basket case? Because you're grieving. You're allowed a few meltdowns. 
I threw you and David under the bus about the name thing. I was awful to Aaron. You have been bottling things up and it just triggered a minor explosion. You've got to give yourself permission to be sad, Chloe. You won't feel this way forever, I promise. I guess what got to me was the thought of hearing Mum's name all the time. So soon after losing her, I, I couldn't take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. We've been approved to have Emmett full time. Saw this one walking up the street before, so we wanted to come congratulate. Welcome to number 32. Sorry you can't move back in. Hey, it's cool. I'm happy to close for now. Not just for now, for as long as you like. Oh, thanks. Mm. I'll take my time finding a house then. Mm. I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you something. This might not be my place to say, but... Look, Nick, Nick you, you've been amazing to Chloe, right? The, just the way you've supported her, I, I think she'd actually be lost without you. But... Um, she's told me she's developed feelings for you. Oh, Aaron. Chloe and I have had our misunderstandings, but we have always been able to work through them. And there is nothing romantic between us from either side. <laughs> 